no matter how many guns are firing, how many rockets are going off, when somebody yells medic, it really, it, it goes straight to your heart and you just immediately drop everything and become a different person. I joined the Army with my best friend Jeff. I really didn't think twice about joining. I knew if Jeff was doing it, then it was the right thing to do. If there's hell on earth, it was right there on November 10th in Afghanistan. I could hear rounds going all around me, and I didn't know if I was going to get hit. Let him know. We just took fire. But I hear the call for medic, and immediately I just blocked everything out. And I ran across this riverbed to the, this French soldier who had been shot in the head. And at the same time, we were taking fire from all sides. And I just knew I had to add one more gun to that, to that firefight. pop out the top of the turret and I'd return fire. And I'd pop back down. I wasn't gonna let him die. I wasn't gonna let anybody else get injured, whether I lost my life or not. Unfortunately, uh, Jeff was killed a few weeks before he was supposed to come home from Iraq in 2009. I never pictured that he would be the one uh, that didn't make it home. Um, I always figured it would be me that didn't make it home, but I guess, uh, I guess I was wrong. That guy was my inspiration for pretty much everything I had done in life. Um, it's been kind of hard finding a path without Jeff being around. For every success story, there are also stories of veterans who come home and struggle to find a job worthy of their experience and worthy of their talent. Veterans like Nick Colgan. Nick saved the life of a French soldier who was shot in the head. But when Nick got back home to Wyoming, he couldn't get a job as a first responder. Basically, I'd received a Bronze Star overseas and come home to receive an unemployment check. I couldn't get a job uh, working in an ambulance. I couldn't get a job even working in retail at a, as a cash register. It's, it's just not me that's going through this. There's 2.4 million veterans out there. And I think Americans need to know that going to the gas station buying a magnetic ribbon. It doesn't help veteran suicide. It doesn't help veteran unemployment. We fought overseas for the American public, but right now we need America to fight for us. Help us be uh, the next greatest generation. <laughs>